Your electric vehicle is equipped with the latest technology to give you the best possible ownership experience. As a matter of fact, your vehicle allows you to set up your phone as a virtual key, eliminating the need to carry a key, while allowing you to lock and unlock the doors, start your vehicle, and so much more via your smartphone and the Ford Pass app. Let me explain. First, you'll need to download the Ford Pass app from your smartphone's app store. If you already have a Ford Pass account, simply log in. Otherwise, you'll need to set up an account and create a PIN. You'll see the Add Vehicle screen, and when your vehicle information is found, add a nickname for it and press Get Started. You'll see this screen directing you to activate Ford Pass Connect and access remote features by touching Activate Vehicle. Your phone will now direct you to your vehicle. Now, with your vehicle parked and started, follow the prompt on the touchscreen and press Yes. The app will then verify the connection is valid and remote capabilities are active. At this time, you're able to set up the phone as a key feature through the Ford Pass app on your phone. From the home screen, press Set up phone as a key. Next, press Set up now. Follow the prompt to confirm your identity. Then give your virtual key a name like Jason's phone and press Next. Once completed, you'll need to connect to your vehicle's Bluetooth service. To do so, press the Copy and Continue button. Then paste the code into the Bluetooth pairing request pop-up. A message will appear letting you know phone as a key setup is complete. You will also be reminded to set a backup start passcode on your touchscreen and on the app. This allows you to start your vehicle if you're unable to use your phone as a key. After you've authorized the phone as a key setup, enter your vehicle with your phone and key fob and start it with your foot off of the brake. A backup start passcode setup message will appear on the touchscreen, asking if you want to set it now or later. If you choose to, you'll be asked to create a code with a minimum of 8 to 10 characters, depending on your model. You can also set a keypad code for keyless entry at this time. Keep in mind, if a backup start passcode has not been set up within five startups, you'll need to go into Vehicle Settings and select Setup. Now that setup is complete, whenever you approach your electric vehicle with your phone, the driver's door will automatically unlock. Once inside, First, wait for the startup animation on the touchscreen to finish before pressing the Start-Stop button to start your vehicle. Then, shift into Drive and go. It's that simple. If by any chance you're unable to start your vehicle using phone as a key, do the following. First, fully depress the brake pedal and push the Start-Stop button. The touchscreen will display the Backup Start Passcode entry screen. Input your backup passcode and press Enter within 30 seconds. You'll then get a message on the touchscreen telling you to start the vehicle. Within 20 seconds, fully depress the brake pedal and push the Start-Stop button to start your vehicle. One last thing. There's also a feature called Valet Mode. It provides a temporary passcode to allow valet attendants to unlock, start, and drive your vehicle without handing over your phone or key fob. With your phone in the vehicle, Press the vehicle icon, then Valet Mode. You'll be asked to enter your PIN, then a temporary passcode will be displayed on the touchscreen and in the Ford Pass app. 